all right guys now let's talk about these arrays arrays are used to store the similar data type but in powershell we can also store different data types in single array so let's uh, take an example of how these arrays uh, works in a real life so if you have a college and you want to store the student marks and you can say student is equals to and you can put the all subjects uh, marks list in that array so whenever you want to print the marks of the student you can just simply print the student array so no need to worry about all the marks so it's a way better uh, organization of some values so in uh, powershell you need to say dollar a is equals to let's say i'm just storing the putting the variable a you can also put any other name and you need to uh, set the add rate and you need to say brackets so in these brackets you need to uh, define the elements let's say uh, 50 comma 60 comma 70 so these are the three elements of this array and you can access these elements using these uh, brackets so if you want to access the first element you need to say zero because the indexing starts from zero uh, in arrays indexing starts from zero and zero is the first element and index one is the second element and index two is the third element so if i want to access this 50 i need to say a of zero now let's go ahead and run this one and you can see we got the value 50 if I want to access the second element, I need to say 1. Sorry. So let's go ahead and run this. As you can see, 60. In the same way, the third element. So this is a way of accessing the elements in array. Now let's go ahead and uh, say dollar $a dot. And array have some uh, class variables and the uh, uh, functions and these functions are used to modify the array and these uh, variables are uh, used to get the properties of this array let's say count so uh, it will give the number of elements in this array that is 3 as you can see there are 3 elements we have got the 3 so you can also uh, add the items to this list so I want to say add 80 so now if I want to run this one so let's go ahead and print this so now as you can see we have got this 80 now there is uh, one more thing I need to show you let's say dollar $B and dollar $B let's just change this one and Normally in the previous before recording of this video I have uh, changed this a variable into the collection list So that's why we have uh, The add method has been successful normally if you declare an, declare an array you will get this uh, Error collection was a fixed size So what you want to type is uh, You want to change this array type into the array list to do that in all you need to do is you need to say uh, system dot corrections dot you can see all of the classes it's been showing here you need to say corrections uh, dot and array list so now this uh, array will be converted into this array list and this array list can be modified with add remove etc functions now if i go and run this one you will, get, you will see the dollar b that is the array contains the 80 element also because we have added at the end so to insert a particular uh, index all you need to say is uh, dot insert of you need to specify the index let's put in between 50 and 60 that is at index 1 comma 80 so if I do this one and if I run this as you can see here 50 80 60 70 because we have inserted the 80 at the first index so for any modifications you need to change this array type into the array list by using this one so it's like a type conversion you have seen the in integer taking the string input and then converting into integer right so you can also uh, remove the item from the uh, list you can say remove of uh, remove of 70 
now let's go ahead and print this one you can see we have got only two elements those are 50 and 60 right now let's go ahead and loop through this uh, array elements so you can use for loop for dollar i is equals to zero dollar i uh, less than and dollar b dot count because dollar b dot count we have got the length of this array right and you can say dollar i plus plus so we are incrementing each and every time all i need to say is i can say write a uh, dollar i or if i want to modify these values i can just modify this sorry uh, i want to say uh, dollar a of i right because we are we are looping over the indexes and each time looping over the indices we need to say a of i so let's go ahead and run this as you can see we have got the uh, elements and to change this uh, value all you need to say is dollar a of index so if i want to change this 50 into say uh, 50 into say 100 now all i want to do is dollar a so, sorry dollar b of 0 that is the index index of this 50 that is 0 is equals to 100 so it's simple assignment uh, operation now if i go ahead and run this script sorry so if i go ahead and run this script as you can see our first elements are uh, first element has been changed from 50 to 100 so you can also iterate over the ob entire array object you can say for so i did not uh, show you the get type right the type of this uh, array you can see you can say dollar b dot get type and if you go ahead and run this you can get this as a array list and that is under the system dot object class so that is the type of this uh, dollar b object you can also explore uh, many options as well you can get is fixture size it will describe either true or false if this is true that means this array cannot be modified it is fixed size if this is false that means we can modify this array you can see here it shows us false because we have converted already this array into array list so you can also loop over the array object using this for each for each dollar i in dollar b so now i can print uh, dollar i refers to 50 and next iteration it refers to 60 and in the last iteration it it refers to 70 so you no need to say dollar a dollar b of i you can just say dollar i you can say write dollar i now if i go in and run this you can see the values here so you can also iterate over the array object using this uh, for each uh, you can also explore the other uh, values as well you can also clone this entire array list into the new one so you can also find the index of index of let's say 60 and if i run this you can see the one because it's a second element the index will be one so these are the basics about the arrays and you can uh, loop over the arrays and we have seen the converting arrays into array list etc so we can also convert this using this uh, dot invoke so let's uh, go ahead and I think that's not necessary it's uh, very convenient this is very convenient system dot collection dot uh, array list so that's all for this arrays video i hope you have understood